I was asked this question about doing batch processing in Photoshop and reducing the image size without necessarily reducing a whole lot of megapixels. So I'm going to show you how I would do that. Well, technically, the answer to the question is use Lightroom. It's going to be a lot quicker and easier. But let's say you wanted to use an action in Photoshop and do this. First thing you need to do is record the action. So I'm going to just grab an image and I'll record the action of reducing the size of this image. So I go up to my actions and then I'm going to go new action. Let's name this reduce size. I'm just going to put it in my defaults action and uh, yeah, I'll call her why not? Let's put it red. Now hit record. Let's close the actions. Now what I'm going to do is reduce the size of this picture. So let's go image, image size. Now this is where we're going to do this work. So we want to leave our resolution the same. We don't want to lose any pixels, but we do want to lose size. So by default, it usually has pixels. Switch this to percentage. So it's going to show 100%. Make sure that it's linked. And I'm just going to do mine by half. So let's say 50%. And you notice that the image size did get reduced. So let's go that back to 100. So you can see image size, 15, down to 50. So there we go. Um, but we want to leave that resolution the same. Hit OK. Since we're going to be batching this, we need to make sure to save it as well. So we need to give it a save command. So let's go save, save as, and those are the way that pictures are. So let's create a new folder and we'll save the new ones in there. So JPEG, perfect, perfect, perfect. Hit save, image size, whatever we want. Since I'm reducing it, let's make it a bit smaller. Let's go nine, hit okay. So now I've recorded in the action. Go back to my actions and hit stop. All right, we've got the image reduce, action saved. We want to do this to some more images. So I'm going to jump into bridge really quick here, and I'm going to show you two ways that you can do this. So let's say we've got these three images here that I want to run that action on. So within bridge, I can select them all. I can go tools, Photoshop, batch and it's going to pull up my batch instructions so in my default actions I've got that one that I just created reduce size so I'm telling it that's what I want it to do I'm going to select a destination folder I don't want it to go back to the same folder you can if you want it doesn't matter so I'm going to go to my demo 2 folder hit select folder and I'm going to leave everything else on the defaults and I'm going to hit OK so now we see what it's doing there. It's running the action on each of those images. And if we jump over to my demo two folder, we'll see we've got them all reduced. Now you don't need to do this through bridge. You can do it directly in Photoshop if you want. Uh, when you launch Photoshop, just go to file, automate, batch. It'll take you to that exact same place. We want to choose our source. So grab my pictures, select folder, and I'm going to choose my destination, which is that two folder. There we go. Hit OK. And notice what it's doing is it's batch processing everything that's within that folder and sending it to the other folder. Now jump up demo two, we can see we've got everything in there. One question that somebody might ask, well, what about raw files? So raw files are gonna be a little difficult because it's gonna automatically open in camera raw. Um, let me show you that one. All right, so I'm in the folder where I have those original raw files and let's say I wanted to try processing that action. I'll just grab the first two here, go to tools, Photoshop and batch. Select my same actions that I want to do. I've got my export folder and I'm going to go OK. Now what's going to happen here is it's a raw file, so it's going to open it in camera raw, which means I'm going to have to stop every time and hit open. This is why I think Lightroom is better for this because you can have all your Lightroom files and 
batch export them by setting those reduced file sizes. I have yet to figure out a way to get it to open a raw directly in Photoshop, skipping that while doing this. Uh, if somebody knows a method, feel free to leave a comment and let me know, and I can then update this tutorial with that information. But to answer that initial question, now you know.